Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Skyrim Special Edition. So, I'm just barely able to carry everything I have. And oddly, when I loaded in just a second ago, I actually was overburdened. So I think it took the game a while for the perks to kick in that made my armor lighter. First thing to do with this is I need to run to the Lakeview Manor. I have a ridiculous amount of items that I'm holding on to specifically so I can enchant. Mama, you're back. Hmm. Look what I found. Here, take it. Gold diamond ring. Hmm. I'm getting ridiculous kids. Not planning any trouble. Hey. What can I do for you, friend? I mean, what are they... Who, who's upset with me? So... In this sack... Not this book. But this sack. I should just move the book. I have... 24 grand souls. So... Probably even worth taking these black souls and selling them. And let's go here. Let's see. When the moon's out, burns for target for 15%. I've got to burn, destroy something here. So I'll get rid of the lunar mace. And that's a shame. But that's where it's got to go. So, first thing I guess I would want is let's make a very expensive ring, like a gold diamond ring, into a better enchanting ring. So, fortify enchanting if I can. Don't I have that? Fortify, restoration, illusions, health, destruction, barter, carry weight, archery, alteration, alchemy. Hmm. This is strange. It seems like there's no list here for, for a fortify enchanting. Let's see. Am I missing it? Barter, block, carry weight, conjuration. Let's see, conjuration of magicka, destruction, destruction of magicka, healing rate, health, heavy armor, illusion, illusion, regenerating, lock picking. This seems like it's all alphabetical too. And I have fortified smithing, which I guess I could do this. And Black Soul Gym, no, but Grand Soul Gym, yes. And then, same thing, that was a ring. Let's see, do I have a different necklace that I can enchant? No. So, here we go again. Fortify smithing with a grand soul gem. Hmm. Although it seems kind of like it doesn't even really matter because enchanting, if it's at the max, would be at everything else. So now we just. Dragon Priest Dagger needs an enchantment of something. I was gonna keep this one so soul trap there I think soul trap is probably what I would want and Azura star there enchanting's up to 21 already hmm you know I just realized something about this let's not do this one particularly there's 
there's an element here that poses a slight problem in th in that I gave away six points and in giving away those six points I probably won't as easily get those six points back like if I'm up to 25 right now and I'm going to do all these enchantings really fast and get back up to a hundred that's fine but it's the level ups that gave me the six points and I'm not going to level up as fast now obviously because I'm going through all of my souls here which I've had a considerable amount of these certainly happening because we have soul trap on our weapons and as long as you find enough of the items you're looking for let's see I guess I should ask myself do I care enough to hold on to the black uh, to the black soul gems which are a little bit more valuable or should I get rid of those too what if I alchemy again maybe making better alchemy potions would help something but who knows hmm keep going this direction what if I block on this everything here is seems like it's out of order but it may actually not be let's see for what if I heavy armor would probably be the best one for that hmm. just keep working our way down here until we've enchanted everything and this is fixing some problems because I am lowering my weight a little bit here and our enchanting is back to 40 already hmm but my enchanting is not as good as it would have been before hmm let's see one black soldier and that's everything So, when we come back up here to enchanting, which we made legendary in the last recording, and I didn't know we could do this, we're at 42, but we need, at the very least, all of these upgraded, and this would be nice and this would be nice and an extra effect was where we were going these side ones not as important soul gems provide extra magicka death blows to creatures trap souls just that would just give you a bunch of low souls so I need to go right back up to center lane which means there's four points here at least one point there at least one point there and at least one point there making a total of seven level ups that I would have to do again and 
when we look at the items that I have, I don't believe that this was a good move. Like, if the target dies within four seconds, fill a soul gem. If this target dies within eight seconds, fill a soul gem. Let's see. Here's a weapon. Do we have a weapon case in here where we can put it? There we go. Let's also see what other weapons we may have that... Like the Lunar Iron Sword and Oaken are two more weapons we, we need to get rid of. Hmm. And I am running out of space completely. Are there any apparel items? Let's see. Create potions of 3% better. A glass shield. We have a jeweled amulet. Hmm. I think that's a special item. Here, weapon and armor can be improved by 25%. And then... Let's see. This jeweled amulet. I think is the only one I want to put away. Hmm. There's nothing else here. So down the stairs we go. Hey. I don't know why he's yelling at me, but whatever. Still missing some things. Activate that weapon. And what is this? Oaken. Activate huh. that one. Yeah, it looks pretty bad when you don't have that arrow in there. I do not understand why there's that element there. Uh, as it is. Ancient Nord Helmet can be increased, and I think I just need to, uh, I'm probably wasting my time here, but take all this and come over here and start glass armor, glass armor, glass gauntlets, glass shield, iron shield. So I, I think I got some of my own armor even increased there. That, that's interesting. Um, seems like I can improve everything a little bit more. And in, in the act of improving everything, I'm not moving my smithing up. Or anything, I'm just I'm still here. Let's see. I'll show you what I can about protecting your what do you need to take? Ooh, I wasn't gonna take the dragon claws. There we go. So let's Lead come back then. here and see if I can improve his weapon any. Yes. Hmm. And see, that would be the dangerous uh, effect of of not uh, of going legendary on smithing, Let's is stop. that what is it? I uh, I would accidentally not be able to, to repair or improve upon the items I have as I am now. Take that. And then your glass armor, light 25, light 25. 
So we give that. Stamina 60, stamina 62. So give him that. Light armor 24, light armor 24. Bows do 20%. Creating potions do 25% more. Shield block 40%, block 2%. Weapons and armor can be improved. Block does 34% more damage. I think I may have taken that from him accidentally. Oh yes, and I wanted to get rid of the jeweled amulet too. Lead on then. Hmm. Do I have anything that I can craft here? No. Do I have anything I can create here? Gold Emerald 700. So, Gold Emerald. I need a Gold Ingot. I just wasted a Gold Ingot, didn't I? Uh, well, let's see. Daedric armor, Daedric arrows are now like I need leather and dragon scales, but I can make this dragon stuff. And what does a dragon bone arrow do? 25 versus a Daedric that does 24. I do have this, so I put some levels into things I could make before and now my whole system's messed up let's see now this isn't the going to be the ultimate set of everything but a dragon bone bow and then what do we need for the armor, leather strips, which I apparently don't have. Hey, hmm. nothing in this safe. Hmm. How much leather do I have? Oh, I don't have any leather. Hmm. So we'll turn all this into leather and hope that this is the right move and then we'll make some leather strips and hope that that's the right move and actually it's probably really stupid to make the dragonborn armor right now isn't it hmm I just realized this because this is heavy armor there's no nothing that we can do there so yeah let's not waste our dragon bones we made the bow and we'll start to make some arrows and that uses all my dragon bones to make a considerable amount of arrows and that was probably a mistake because now I don't have any dragon bones I bet to improve this like this this hmm yes I needed a dragon bone a dragon bone would have made this 167 And then unless there's some dragon bone or something here, I've just made a mistake. Hmm. And I just don't feel like I'm in a good position to try to make a bunch of things. So dragon scales now it can be used but can rhodium ingots I need to go find out what the deal with that is 
Dwarven ingots, ebony ingots, I'm fine with. The firewood, I'm fine with. Hmm. Iron ingots, we got plenty of leather. So I might just make a bunch of leather things to try and do some more work there. Steel ingots, we need to look at that too. More Crodium ingots. There we go. So, what I item uses Crodium? It's not Elven. It's not Orcish. It's not Ebony. Hmm. These Daedric ones all use Daedra hearts, so I could only actually make one thing with it. Anyways. Hmm. Dwarven uses Dwarven metal. Leather uses leather. Steel. I do have steel. Okay. So scaled armor uses two Corodium ingots. And steel bellow axe. What uses the most corrodium ingots though? Hmm. Steel plate things. Is it gonna be super heavy? I I think we've gotta do this. And then let's see what else we can do. And is there anything else we can do? Hmm. Just trying to get the corrodium ingots gone. Let's see, scaled armor, scaled armor, scaled armor, scaled armor, scaled armor, scaled boots. So I need to f make a bunch of scaled things whatever they are and get those off the list I also need to fight a dragon let's see so back over here we go amethysts Crodium ingots, 148. Let's see. That's a lot. Iron ingots will keep. Leather will keep. Or, you know what? We can probably just put the leather in here. Save ourselves some. Or calcum. Quicksilver. Malachite. We've got a lot of moonstone. Still. Why'd I have a skull? Let's, let's get rid of that skull over here. Hmm. This game desperately needs some kind of system. Something or other that would just sort items. We're spending way too much time here over and over again. Now I'm trying to find what uses moonstone. Um, elven armor would use this, so I guess we could do all of that. And then we we ran out of iron immediately. Hmm. We do have more leather we could make. I don't actually really have a reason to make leather though. Iron. Desperately need iron. Hmm. So, 
Yeah, we're just in this weird system. Unbalanced amount of items here. Unbalanced amount of things that I'm only improving to get more of a resale value to them. So we'll go and put the ore in here just to save ourselves some time. I'm not even being thorough about sorting things. And all right, that puts us in a good position, I suppose. Hmm. Somewhat good position at the very least. Let's see. Did we find any other weapons? Like, this Ebony Bow of Legends is 152. This Dragon Bow is 105. So I, I'm going to keep it and have this 20 weight weapon in my resources for no real reason. So I'll probably hand it over to my character. And then Dragonborn, Dragonbone Arrows, I guess we can just go ahead and equip those now and start doing 25 damage each time instead of 20. Let's go ahead and start here. More alchemy to be done. A little bit of everything. Giving us more potions. Trying to get us to level up. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if maybe there's a way you could make an RPG game where you just got to choose when you leveled up. Like maybe there's some kind of penalty or maybe no penalty at all if you level up early but like maybe just make it so you don't have to grind the grind in games it has always been a problem and it's never been really fixed perfectly hmm this is interesting I think I'm maybe kinda of prematurely done here on the alchemy uh, So, yeah, how do we get rid of the grind? I think part of the problem with this game is where it puts the grind. It puts it in smithing and alchemy and things that you wouldn't normally even do unless the game kind of forced you into it. Let's see. Do we have enough here to make some random things? Hmm. Hmm. I've got some ra random elements here where I'm trying trying out things that have never been tried before it's possible I'll learn something new from that but it's also very possible that I'm just wasting my time hmm Yeah, I think that pretty much means we're done. I, if I could find the chicken egg one. Chicken egg here. Long life to you, Thane. We won't have anything new to mix together that will do anything. So we would just be trying things that we know won't work. And I don't know if that gives you any improvement in your alchemy. So, yeah, we were kind of... Didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. And as far as enchanting, I can't enchant the dragon bone uh, bow because that would be insane. The enchantment would be too low. So... Gold emerald ring. Fortify alchemy. Common soul. Let's 
scaled armor, fortify whatever health, black soul gem. And we're almost there, so I should probably just use the black soul gem again. Fortify health, black soul gem. Hmm. Hmm. Fortify heavy armor on that. And let's, I suppose, just do one more while we're here. Maybe I should try different enchantments. We've stopped. What is it? I actually nothing right now. Let's level up. More stamina. And we're just right back to this. We need that enchanting stronger. Uh, so the next one requires 40. This requires 50. So we need to do that. I'm still here. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. And I wonder about heavy armor. Could I go legendary on heavy armor without actually having put any points in to it? And then... Uh, what do you need to take? And then start down that... Start putting points in it later. I was going to use this, actually. And put that up. Take that one and hmm. I need to put the food up too. I forgot about that. S egg. And I need to look at all the books too, don't I? Hmm. This emerald dragon claw. And maybe I'll just hold on to the leather. Let's go. Alright. Hmm. I can't put it on this weapon rack. Why? Hmm? Game? You got any reason why I can't put it on the weapon rack? Or is it just another silly reason? Oh. This letter I can't get rid of yet. But. Ingrod's note. We'll see how many of these we can actually put up. Mace etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. That's third time's the charm there. Of cross daggers. Hmm. So there was an article talking about, like, how much choice is too much choice, and we have to start. I kind of have to start wondering that myself. Is there too much choice in this game? Is that one of its problems? I think it might be. I think very well there might be just too much to do that doesn't matter. And because of that, I feel like it's just wasting your time a lot of times. Also, I'm going insane here. This game is a prime example of a game that just drives you crazy into an OCD compulsive hoarder. Just all of this stuff. Let's see. Where was I putting huh. unique items? If I can't put this up. I'm going to try to put this on a weapons rack. Hmm. Can't place a dagger on this weapons rep. 
back. Interesting. Hmm. There we go. Well, then we'll just move some items around. It seemed like you simply. There we go. Hmm. Let's go ahead and equip our ebony bow legendary. Hmm. The good news is we're not too hey. too hmm. messed up here. We're almost done. So this has been a shorter journey than what we've had before. Like, I can't put these up. Let's see. Can't put that up. Can't put that up, can't put that up, can't put that up, can't put those up, can't put those up, can't put that up. Now, apparel, there was, let's see, jeweled amulet, which is a quest item, so, I think I was supposed to give the necklace of mending over to strange amulet, let's go ahead and equip that one ourselves. Uh, Come over here. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? I think I wanted him to hold on to the necklace of mending because it healed him. There we go. So he has all my keys. He is the key master. He's got my bow. He's got a gold sapphire ring that increases block. And a necklace of mending that increases health. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. So what I was saying before is smithing here is at 100. So I could certainly go legendary. And maybe at some point I would do that. Although, if that's the case, the first thing I need is a ridiculous amount of steel uh, and other items to try to level that back up. It's probably a decent thought to start doing that but like two two-handed here if I get two-handed up nine uh, nine more levels I could go legendary without losing any points if I went to archery for six more levels it would I would lose a lot of uh, points that I'd have to put back into it uh, so heavy armor on the other hand like, enchanting is back to 45 really fast. And actually, heavy armor here is at 54, and I've put no points in it. If I wait till I'm at 100 in heavy armor, which would take probably a long time. I mean, I'm more likely to do it in block, or two-handed first, or even one-handed. Uh, so there's several skills here I haven't actually chosen any perks on. I could go legendary on them, go through the whole thing a second time, and potentially level up. And I'm starting to see a pattern here why you might get up to level 200 in the game. But first things first, we need to sell. Which probably means we need to buy, too. Hmm? If they would sell bones, that would be cool. But they won't. Hmm. Before we get anything, let's look here. Like, crazy potions are 20% more powerful. These are probably things I sold to them at, when I had better enchanting abilities. But, 
Nah, not really worth keeping now. Let's start getting rid of this. That one, Daedric Arrows, do 24. I'll keep those. Get rid of this. Ebony Arrows I won't sell yet. Ebony Bow will sell. Ebony Sword. Ebony War Axe. Ebony Bow. Elven Bow. So she, I need more things from her. So we'll start buying things like that. Light things. And then that's kind of all I can do. Hmm. Supple Agent Nord Bow. Need another thing for 500. Helmet. This. This. And let's see, what do I want to sell? That. We'll sell that. There we go. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. So next store, here we go. I don't claim to be the best blacks. Welcome. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. So we buy everything here, because it will certainly be needed. Hmm. And we'll take this, this, and does he have anything else of anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it. So again, we'll start selling things. Glass bow sells that. I'll hold on to the arrows since they have some value. In fact, why I don't buy arrows back from people is kind of silly. They, they are much more lightweight than anything else I'm holding on to. So I'm going to keep that necklace, ring of renewal, scaled armor, scaled armor, scaled armor, there we go, so all of that. So if he has arrows, why don't I just buy 200 gold worth of arrows? I guess it's because it's not worth it. Like, even if I bought all these glass arrows, that just gives them 900 gold. And if I buy all of these arrows... Hmm. That just gives them 1,200. Which I suppose... We can get the arrows up to 1,000? I suppose that makes some sense. Let's see. Silver ring, silver ring, silver ring. Hmm. And, but let's say we wanted to sell these orcish arrows. If I wanted to take his 21 gold, I'd have to move the indicator down to the right amount. So if I wanted to sell 261 if I have 261 iron arrows and he has 21 gold, I would have to click here and then go all the way down here. Oh, wait. Right bump works. Right bump, left bump works. Oh, good. I've learned something new today. So, more running to the stores. Let, let me ask this question. Did I leave anything in this house? I think I may have. Nope. If I had left something in the house, I would have left it right there in that chest, almost certainly. Hmm. I've got a ton of potions I need to sell too, and they're heavier than, Let me know if you see anything you like. than several other things. And I've bought need, everything friend? out of the store, so, so she's got nothing on her shelves, really. 
Again, why not a buy all button? Hit X to buy all, and when you're done, you can. Uh, it asks you twice just to make sure, and then you're done. Scroll. All this gone, all the food. Get rid of that. Books. Get rid of those. And I don't believe there would be anything there to sell. So now it's just potions. Things that I want to get rid of. Let's see, is this cold? Have a true shot buzz do 50% more damage, buzz do 30% more damage. Alright, there we go. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I wish the stores would scale a little bit more. If I walk into like Isn't this the No, I guess it isn't. Here, I'm gonna hit this to, just in case I have a disease. Hmm. I'm very flippant about which of the eight gods they worship. I wor am worshiping at any time. It's whatever uh, statue or shrine I find first, pretty much. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, here he is. Missed him. Divine sp spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess them. Still getting that speech up there. I no reason to buy any of these. At a certain point, I it might make sense to to buy scrolls back from him. Uh, Maybe. Maybe that would make sense at some point, but I don't think anytime right now. Let's see. Enchanters. An enchanted item is 20% stronger. Lotus Extract. I was going to keep that. Paralysis Potion. Damage Health. Damage Magicka. Damage Magicka. Damage, 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 damage. Frenzy. This slow. This, this. Brief invisibility for 20 seconds. Extreme healing 150 points, extreme magic, fortify block, fortify health, restoration, stamina, stamina, two handed healing, invisibility for 21 seconds. Well, that one's better than this. Light feet 10% harder to detect. I'm never going to use that. Minor magic, uh, plentiful healing, plentiful stamina, regenerate magic, regeneration. Resist fire, resist fire, resist fire, resist fire, resist magic, there's a shock, restore health, restore stamina, stamina, ultimate healing, completely healed, I have 11 of those, vigorous healing I have, uh, does 100, extreme healing does 150, vigorous magicka, stamina poison, hmm. So I think that's probably all I want to hold on to. Maybe get rid of even these two. There we go. And before I come back and sell some of the other things, because he has about you know, 500, you you should join the mages college we're going to enchant got nothing to disenchant right yep enchant oh I've got no items to enchant interesting I could have sworn I, I had some jewelry or something I could enchant come to drag hmm I had you figured hmm. for a mage I think you'll appreciate this let's see I'll just sell that one I guess I enchanted everything else. Yeah, they all do have enchantments on them, don't they? Hmm. Remember, 
Your mind is the best weapon you have. So now I need to be slightly careful when talking to the final store because I again don't have anything. I would just like a slight mod that gave a better path from that castle to here. Just put a staircase right there. <laughs> it's like not all mods need to be insanely uh, insanely difficult. I can be Got a lot of steel to share. some of them can just be simple things like God be praised. Like make walking from one place to the other easier. I'm gonna end up giving them four thousand gold, and hopefully I can get all of that back. Weapons. Well, I probably can with the arrows. Anyways, though. Let's see. Iron helmet, iron shield. Ring of Renewal. Maybe I should hold on to that one. There we go. Get that one. And then I'm looking for something around 400. Well, these two would equal about 400. There we go. So... That puts us at 377, but let's remember that a lot of what I have on me right now that's heavily weighted is items of crafting. Unfortunately, it's taken mean? yet another hour to, to get here, so we're just going to run back to the like Dark Brotherhood. Brother. The lake is so pretty. To our youth. Yep. He's standing on the gone. chair, and that seems the almost certainly designed to happen. Hmm. So, I don't actually want to craft anything, now that I've thought about it. Uh, in fact, I don't even want to waste the energy to put things in the right place. Let's see, iron ingots. I probably need a lot of that. And leather strips. And rhinestone ore. Or calcium. Or quicksilver. I find moonstone. Silver ore. I'll not take care of any of that. Hmm. I guess I have to make the decision, don't I? I think I have to right now. We're going to have to go legendary with smithing. And I think we, we have to do it. And sets it to 15 and returns all its parks. Come on. Yes. So at this point, steel smithing, we need to get it back up to 60 immediately. And I have nine other perks. Where do I want to put these other perks? Archery? could have the ranger ability but not the bullseye ability so that seems kind of a waste armor needs to go up higher before I could even get anything else and that's not happening sneak needs to go up higher let's see walking and running does not affect detection interesting Interesting. So we'll take silence. 
We've got eight more perks. Lock picking can't go anywhere. Pit pocketing. Hey, let's maybe increase our pit pocketing ability. Speech. Fence. So now we can sell stolen items everywhere. And haggling so we can get better prices. Next time, next time we need Master Trader and maybe even Intimidation. Moving on though, Alchemy to make better potions. Maybe this would move my Alchemy abilities up a little bit. Hmm. So I'm putting everything into Alchemy. But it's going to be a, a while before I can just repair and improve magical weapons. That requires 60, so we got to get back up to that. And we only got up to 45 here. And so, like, smithing and chanting is back on the board. And I did that specifically so we can now run to the other house and craft elements for the other house hopefully uh, in fact let's just take everything with us to the other house uh, let's see can I take all this I'm carrying too much to run so I need to put back something that's about 400 let's see all the dragon scales probably and let's go about 90 of these and let's go another 45 of these and let's just go all of those what else is holding us down firewood we'll put all that away and that's good so to the other house we go This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Hmm. We drink to our so, I'm hoping when I make nails and stuff over here at the Winstad Manor, each one of those nails, those hinges, those things, every one of those items that we need. Where's my door? Over here. Interesting. Uh, turns out to be something that I need to craft and thus move my crafting up. So iron fittings, we need lots and lots of iron fittings. So I'm going to first thing go find the anvil here and make a ton of iron fittings see it is leveling up and with leveling up it's also leveling up my main character's abilities so I need nails hinges and glasses and glass so let's make some nails too and I'll leave it at 20. Hmm. I guess this is a, a great system to allow you to just continue to make things. Hmm. Let's see, was I... I'm still not certain whether I was... I glitched there or if I just had a choice of several different things and I chose a barrel over several other items it doesn't the system doesn't explain itself well at all like do you want a cupboard do you want a chest do you want a dresser dresser cupboard uh, weapon track well, I'm missing a lot of pelts because I had a bunch of pelts and I turned them into um, I turned them into leather. 
What are we missing here? Hinges? I know I have a lot of this stuff somewhere. I just need to figure out where I put the building materials in this house. Again, there was a long list of things there and I chose barrels and then it was gone. And I suppose we will take the opportunity here to harvest everything. Hmm. I wonder, is Dragon's Tongue something I should take and then, like, plant? Let's see. Dragon's Tongue. I didn't plant it. Activate. Jazzberry Grapes. I didn't plant it. Seems like there's several places here. Juniper Berries. I didn't plant it. This one. Now there's a list here, though, that's less than what I have, I know, because. Let's see. I'm gonna put Thistle Branch here. But I know there's less less that you can plant here than than other items. see harvest things that I assume these things are gonna show up again and I crafted everything except for some mounted items and the house crawl would almost certainly fix any missing items that's why yeah, here we go now we're carrying too much to carry Hey. Move. Thank you. Now I needed a gold ingot to make an alchemy thing. And I'm still missing that. Chest, chest, tall wardrobe. Good. It doesn't feel like building these items, however, is actually moving the quest forward to Smith. Hmm. It feels like these items are separate. Hmm. So everything is built back here. Let me ask this question. Can I craft a new thing? I can make an ice wolf. So, this whole trophy stuff though is weird. I can make another cow. I can make another horker. But I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Because it seems like there's no way to change it. And that's certainly a strange turn of events. And we built everything. We built everything here, right? That we could. Down we go. Hmm. Safe, we need stealing goods. And a bunch of shrine things. Honestly, I kind of wonder why bother to even, like, have a second house they it doesn't seem different enough steel 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 silver interesting hmm all right so what can we make we have probably more than enough of anything there. 
180, 830. Take that. And we've got a ridiculous amount of leather and not enough steel. And so we wouldn't want to make steel things anyways. Not iron things either. If anything, maybe iron ingots and leather and iron daggers, but I think I'd probably just make something along the lines of uh, hide bracers. Hmm. That's probably enough. And let's see. That means we have to come back over here and store everything else the dwarven stuff the ebony stuff the glass we keep that for later hinges I have five hinges hmm. iron fittings I have two leather I'm gonna hold on to for a second locks let's see moonstone ore or calcium Quicksilver, Malachite, Fine Moonstone, Silver Ore, Steel Ingots. Hold on to all of that. Hmm. So I need. How much of this is helping and how much of this is wasting time, I wonder. I'm gonna hold on to the rest of that leather. Hmm. Make some safes. And can't make anything else. And around we go again. Cupboard, cupboard. We need more iron fittings. We need more iron fittings. We need more iron fittings. Hmm. Over here. And you kind of go up pretty high as far as your leveling. I'm gonna make a couple of hinges. I'm gonna make a couple of nails. Just make sure. fittings I think but actually I probably also need some hinges still hmm. over here hmm. two iron fittings two hinges and I guess I'll make one more iron fitting. I'm out of hinges. Hmm. So I need more iron. More iron again. I mean, which is more fun? It becomes the question. Which of these two incredibly boring possibilities, whether it is crafting items for a house that you probably won't ever even use, or crafting equipment that you'll probably never use, like, 
I'm not sure. I, I really don't know which one of those two possible dumb things you could do. Uh, let's see. Leather, leather. Locks. Mammoth tusks. Nails. I have plenty of nails. Saber cats. Steel ingots. And straw. And that gets me down to a hundred before I even have something to sell to somebody else. Hmm. So next level up that I get, I kind of need smithing to go right back up to where it was. I need to be able to potentially craft some things with my other ingots because vampires coming from we need to wipe them out before things get because right Fine, now just making steel things from I iron the only true Nords in is the worst you need to leave now oh he wants me to leave darn it I, I knew it looked like it was too late so Hmm. So I will wait in between recordings, I suppose. Uh, this game just never stops. It just never stops. We 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 literally started at the end of a cave somewhere somewhere around here, I think. And I I don't even know which one it was, but we started at the end of this cave, we had a ridiculous amount of stuff, and then we spent the past hour and ten minutes just enchanting things, crafting things, and building things for the house. Just grinding for a very silly reason, it feels like. Hmm. In fact... I may very well not understand this at all. I may not understand the legendary element to this, and I may have wasted my effort. I may have been much better to stay at smithing level 100, be able to smith things, and do the most improvement. Is legendary 100 the same as 100? It's just I can now be more precise about what elements I put in here? Uh, for smithing particularly, I don't know how I'm going to be any more precise there. Do I save my perks and not put anything into, like, the light armor and now it's all heavy armor? Maybe. Maybe that's what I should do. Uh, that would give me more perks that I have put in other things. But I, it really feels like I, I just shuffled around perks. Because eventually, if I play up to level 200, 250, which you can get that high, certainly, uh, I would have everything at 100, and then there would be no reason to, to go legendary because there would be no more perks to move around. I suppose if I started wearing heavy armor instead of light armor, that would help, but that would mean I need to get the let's see where is it here one of these heavy armor things says heavy armor doesn't weigh as much here it is conditioned heavy armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn and that requires level 70 so I could get up to cushioned right now, putting points into this, which is probably a good idea. And then if I could get it up to level 70, <laughs> yeah, if I can get it up to level 70 before I, I make that dragon armor, that would be nice. That's ideally what, what I would want, but we are quite far from that. 
Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can go to my main YouTube page. On the right, there's a blue button that says support this channel. And finally, down below in the description is a bunch of social media links to follow and friend me on. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.